What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Toothpicks. Today we're gonna to be cooking up something that I really love. We're gonna do some pork belly burnt ends. And look at this, I got some pork belly right here I picked up from my local store. And let's get to it, let's get to cooking. So first thing you wanna do, I got about a five pound pork belly. And you can see most of the uh, outer layer of the skin is peeled off. That way we don't have to be making any cracklings or getting any hard stuff on the top. And this is all I'm gonna be cooking today. Usually I can get a whole slab or you can just get a half. And I'm gonna use the half today because not a lot of people are eating. First of all, let's just show you what I'm using. And this is just some of the stuff, but this is the main ingredients. Today, I'm gonna to be using some hardcore carnivore red. Um, I really love that stuff for the color. I love the taste of it. So to get, get that red color, I'm gonna be using that. I picked up some apple, cherry, habanero, rib candy I picked up from my um, local Meat Church barbecue supply up here. Shout out to Meat Church. I'll have a link to that in the description. I got some Heath Riles butter bath, use it for braising liquid. And on top of that, we'll be using a little bit of beer. So I chose today some Shiner Brewer's Pride Fruitcake Pastry Porter. It's got a little cherry flavor to it. And then for a binder, on top of that, some Creole mustard, using some of that. I love that stuff. And some apple juice. And that's all you're gonna be using. Not, oh, let me not forget we're gonna be using some barbecue sauce. I'm gonna make my own barbecue sauce. You can use your own, you can use your favorite, but I'm gonna make my own barbecue sauce. So let's just get to it. So what you wanna do first, you wanna get this, it's already squared off as you can see, and let's get this cut up. You want a sharp knife for this. You want this to come right out of the fridge. It's easier to cut. And what I'm gonna do about one inch cuts all the way down. Make sure your knife is sharp. Now I did put this knife through the sharpener. I had some past videos people were talking about, you know, your knife ain't sharp enough. I don't know how they could tell, but you know what? My knife is sharp today, so no complaints. Just go ahead and cut this, get through the fat. Now, if this is room temperature, this thing would be hard to cut. I'm trying to tell you, it's gonna, that fat to be wiggling everywhere. It'd be messy a little bit, but knife sharp today, guys. So no need to worry. No hurt feelings whatsoever. Just gonna cut through it. Now, you're, you're probably saying to yourself, like, Bruce, you're cutting some big slices, you know. These things are gonna shrink up. You know, they're gonna really shrink up. This is the first step you wanna do. Go ahead and get them cut. Now, it might be some unevenness, but that's okay. Once you do that, I'm gonna take a few to the side. Oh, gotta get that part. And what I like to do is take two at a time. Make sure it's real cut up. There you go. And I like to take two at a time, and I like to cut little even squares. Go ahead and get this cut. Just like that, little even squares. Boom. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get the rest of this cut up, and then we're gonna place it on a rack. All right, so I got all my pork belly cut up. Now, I'm telling you what else you're gonna need. You're gonna need you a little wire rack. This is just like a little cookie rack. I'm using about this size, because this is about what's gonna fit, and I'm gonna space these out pretty evenly. And let's go ahead and get these things seasoned up. So what I wanna do, I wanna grab my rub, okay? Let's get it open. I took one of my gloves off, just so I can work with this and won't contaminate my bottle. And just stand up high. Not stand up, put it up high and give you a good coating. Now look at that color on there. I know these are gonna be good and colorful and tasteful. I love these things. I catered these things to a cigar bar here locally, here in the Dallas area, called Kunoma Cigar Lounge. I used to do that on Sundays. And these people, they, they, they loved it, they loved it. Let's get these kind of turned over, you know? Get some turned over. Get, some, get the other side seasoned up. Get it all the way around. All right, so we're gonna get these seasoned up, get all this rub on. You want a good coat. I'm gonna show you what I want on here real quick. And that's what you want. Look at that, you know, coarse 
seasoning on there, that's gonna give me a good bark. And once you do that, scoot that to the side, just place it on there, okay? Fat side up. Place another one on there. And just get these all here. For the sake of time, let's get these put on here. And then after that, um, we'll be taking them right out to the smoker. All right, so we're out here at the smoker and today I'm gonna to be using my Weber Summit. This is my tried and true, this is my baby right here. And I got my little, huh? Hey, I mean, you my baby too. <laughs> <laughs> Threw me off right there, but you know what? Yeah, that's my baby, she's behind the camera. That's my wife right there, she helps me a lot. So, hey, get you a good one guys, I'm trying to tell you. Got this rolling at 275, got a set on my CyberQ Cloud right there. Y'all seen what that is? I put it in other videos. So let's go ahead and get this on. Let me tell you what I did first. I came out here, I used a little cherry wood, a little oak, a little post oak at that. Got that from Lone Star Firewood here in Wasahatchee. And I lit it with my grill gun. Got that up, now that's 400,000 BTU of madness, guys. It's lighting that charcoal super fast. Gotta get you one, I'll have the links in the description. Check that out. We're gonna go ahead and get this open. Now look at that. Now, as you can see, Got me a pan on there to catch some of the drippings. Ain't gonna catch all of it, but I'm gonna catch most of it, all right? And I don't need the drippings, I just don't want a grease fire. So, go ahead and put that right there in the middle of your rack. And we're gonna get this closed down and we're gonna let this smoke for the first hour. Now this cook should maybe take three hours, maybe three and a half, maybe less, depending on how it cooks. But I want a good dark crust on this, a good bark, as you would say. When I get it to the color I want, you know, that's when I'm gonna, we're gonna go to the braising process. Let me turn that off, cause that's just my alarm saying that, hey, you got the grill open too looking, um, too much. So let's go ahead and get this closed. Temp will come back, CyberQ Cyber Cloud would do his business. And you know what, we're gonna have a drink, I'm gonna have me a cigar while I wait, and we'll come back and we'll check this in about an hour. So you know what, hour done roll by, see it's holding at 275 on the CyberQ Cloud. Let's go ahead and get this baby open. Look at that color right there. Now that's a good color. You see how that bark's setting up? I want my burnt ends a little more darker than that, okay? So we're gonna let it go for another hour, but since it's about right there, on its way to getting that good color. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of apple juice and apple cider vinegar with my little pump sprayer. So I got this thing charged up. Just do a little sweeping motion, just like that. Should be good to go. Look at that. Get it back closed up and we'll come back and check it in about an hour. All right, so we back here at the smoker. Two hours then went by exact. I wanna show you, this thing is holding 275. That's why I love this smoker right there. Let's go ahead and open this up and take a look. Man, oh man, that's the color I'm looking for right there. You know, and if I if I touch it, really, just rub it. Ain't no, the rub's not really moving or nothing like that. So I wanna take a temperature, I wanna show you. I got my MK4 Thermapen. Take that right there. 205, 206, that's what I'm looking for. Real tender. These things are ready to sauce, and we're gonna put it back on the smoke for about 30 minutes and let that sauce in here. And let's, you know, step back, and I'm gonna show you about how I do that, and we'll get them back on the smoke. All right, so you saw that these burnt ends are ready to come off and get some sauce on them. 
and these look real good i got the bark how i want look at that right there look at that bark it's already set on here good color just like i want to now i took some of that heath riles um butter powder right there the butter and um, basing powder and i mix it with about a half a cup of apple juice and about a quarter cup of my shiner beer i told you, you needed that beer go ahead and pour that in get it all mixed up and i made me a homemade barbecue sauce as you can see right here on the side now i might not use all this sauce i just want to coat these things but i want a little brazen liquid in there and of course i got my apple cherry habanero rib candy for to help that glaze get a little shiny so the first thing i want to do i want to get this open and i want to pour this on here just like that let's get it over here and i'm gonna mix this up with my hands guys and that's what you want that's about a quarter cup right there i would say and then i want to put a little bit of braising liquid in here now the recipe calls for that much um, you can use it if you want to cover it and you know braise it with foil but i'm not i just want the flavor in this i want too much liquid just enough to get it over that now let's go ahead and get some sauce and i'm gonna keep adding sauce as i want to want to and it's pretty thick that way it can stick real good i think that's good to start off let's see how it mixes up just mix it up with your hands and it's already pretty much ready but this is gonna break it down a little more and get that sauce to adhere to this, these um, burnt ends. Now look how that looks. Looks real. Oh no, I dropped one. <laughs> See, gotta be quicker than that. Let's just get them coated. That's all you wanna do. Get them coated, get it looking good. Now you see how that looks? Look at the shine to them. That's what I want. Don't have to worry about messing with them anymore. Go ahead, get your gloves off since they're already coated. Got a little bit, a little bit of liquid at the bottom. And we'll get these back on the smokers for about another about 30, maybe 45 minutes, depending on how I like them. Step over here, got the smoker still going. Now I did raise this smoker up to about 300 so they can set pretty good. Set it right back in the middle. And that's what you wanna do. And by the time I finish, we'll come out and they'll be ready to go. All right, I got the burnt ends off the smoker. Take a look at these bad boys sitting up in that glaze that we put on there. I let them ride for about 30, maybe 40 minutes to let it really just adhere to the meat. These things are ready to be tasted. And I'm telling you, y'all missing out. So let's go ahead and grab one. I'm grab one right off the top right here. Look at that. Woo. Mmm, that's right in your mouth. That's so good. Give me a minute. That's real good. Hey, if you want to try this recipe out, go ahead. Let me know in the comments how you like it. I got other videos. Check them out at the end of this video. Go ahead and binge on them. If you like, subscribe, share my videos. Go ahead and hit that instant notification bell. That way you can keep up with whatever I'm putting out. Till next time, guys, we're going to enjoy our dinner. Toothpicks. <laughs>